You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Oh, Samara, at the embassy offices. Let's go. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate it. I'd like assistance. to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment... Let me check on Liara again. Is there new dialogue now? Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Liara, Liara, where is Liara? Oh yeah, over there. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P O R A E. Tasha no, Pore. Realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? It's uh, been a while since I heard from her. Tasha Pore. But I would be contacted if she were injured, correct? Yes, I'm listed as her bond mate. Yes, I can hold. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. Tasha Pore is the dead commando back in the monastery. No, I realize you can't So this is Resha. Can you Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I'm sorry for your loss, Weshra. Okay, no more dialogue. I thought there would be special dialogue after Shepard and Liara made it official that they are together. Oh well. I'm still curious about Sanctuary, what the heck is that place? Where is Samara? Okay, there she is. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. 
But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Well, it wasn't Shepard who killed the Reaper at Tuchanka, it, it was the Thrasher Maw, the mother of all Thrasher Maws, Cal Ross. Well, yeah, I guess she was referring to Shepard activating the hammer that draws the attention of the Cal Ross. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Flair be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaer saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard. I really want to see Shepard woohooing Samara, if possible. You know, woohoo, as in The Sims, woohoo. Woohoo. Alright, so Jacob emails Shepard. Let's see what he wants. Spectre status, one moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Something else? Okay, so I already talked to Jacob even before he sent the email. I'm All right. We had time to talk. Me too. Got to take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. No replacement has been selected for the position vacated by Councilor. Inspector status recognized. One moment, please. Citadela Embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. I have heard that dialogue. 
So I'm going to skip it. Again, a salarian male and a human female. Interesting. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet. But my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. They butchered Ashley in Mass Effect 3. But at least they left Miranda alone. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. So what then? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place. Everyone's walking around in it. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. All that time you were working for Adina. Always rubbed me a little. Still, that traitor is back. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks to you. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. No rest for the wicked. I don't know about that. Okay. So it has made the news. Bataria joining the coalition has made the news.
Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money. Quarian Envoy Ship, speak with Quarians. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and it, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner of in a manner similar to that of the Normandy, when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy. Well, there was a Quarian that joined Shepard in the Normandy, and I'm guessing that Quarian was able to... you know, was able to discern or determine how how the Normandy stealth technology works and that Quarian is Tully Commander Shepard a pleasure to see you again though I wish it were under better circumstances I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers what's going on? 17 days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. Your home world? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. I agree, Admiral Chorus. That was a mistake. We're correcting our ancestors' mistakes! In the middle of a galactic invasion. This was the most appropriate time. Of course it was. The Council was too busy with the Reapers to slap sanctions on you for starting another war. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Retreat? Or counterattack? I say retreat, right? And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Oh. Glad you could make it, Tali. She's an admiral Admiral's now. Already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. 
I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. All right, the Geth stronghold, the Geth homeworld, where it used to be, used to be the Quarians, where it saves Vale, disable the dreadnought. All right, so. So the Quarians managed to push the Geth back into their own turf. That was impressive, right? What is this? The migrant fleet? A flotilla of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of space-faring vessels in the known galaxy. It is a testament to the quarian strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during recent battles. The fleet is now on the far side of the star from Ranok. The better to cloak its movement from the Geth. Alright. Where is Ranok? Geth debris field. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of Geth sat statites. Satellites that use solar sails to self-correct their position. The Geth place the ultra-lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranged in a vast array known as a Dyson Bubble. Scattered among them are space stations and servers that draw power from the statites through wireless energy transfer, like the wireless cell phone charging. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar cells have also been destroyed. It appears the Quarians began to destroy them but were stopped before the attack was complete. So according to the Admirals, the Reapers are now in full control of the Geth, making them more deadlier, I guess, in terms of their tactics and their, I don't know, tactics, strategy, cognition, perhaps? Where is Ranok? This this description mention Ranok. Where is Ranok? Oh, Ranok. Although its orange sun is only about 90% the mass of Sol and half as luminous, Ranok is arid by Earth standards because it formed closer to its star and has slightly less ocean coverage. Photosynthetic life is concentrated around rivers and oceans, with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in ancient Quarian culture is evident in the translation of Ranok's name, World Garden. To a starship sensors, the most obvious feature of the Quarian homeworld is the numerous heat sources in orbit. Thousands of Geth space stations watch over the planet, 
Somewhere in this artificial swarm of constructions lurk the Geth Armada, waiting for its moment to counterattack. Population unknown. Quarian estimates on the number of Geth range from the tens of millions to the single digit billions. Estimates on the number of Geth consciousness stored in servers are far higher. So, I assume this Ranok used to be the Quarian homeworld. I'm guessing there are no war assets here, right? The Geth must have stripped this system from any valuable war assets. Maybe. Okay, let's go. Geth Dreadnought. Disable the Dreadnought. This is the Dreadnought that broadcast the signal from the Reapers, right? As Legion told Shepard, the Geth were divided between those who want to go their own way and those who want to go with the Reapers. However, I remember in Mass Effect 1, Sovereign does not have any flattering opinion about the Geth. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Ranok reveal an intimidating array of features, from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. 
I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. software. She'll be handling hacking and security. We couldn't ask for a better expert. Thanks. Shadow broker. Ready to infiltrate the dreadnought? Indeed. Shepard, there's a problem. All tunes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Okay, so Tali knows that Liara is the Shadow Broker. How? Liara is not as good as her predecessor in hiding her identity. That is a bad trait to be a Shadow Broker in my opinion. Wait, I'm alone? No! Alright. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Is this the Normandy? I don't think so. Oh, I can... Oh, alright, alright, alright. I cannot run. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. The Geth Dreadnought. Oh, the battle is happening in the background. Shit, fuck. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Ranok. For organics, destroy the gas. Structural weakness, really? I don't remember that information. Was it from Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 1?
looks Almost. like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. So Shepard is by himself? Alright, he's going to die. Locate secondary airlock, alright. I'm confused. No, not confused. I'm surprised Shepard can walk around inside the Geth Dreadnought like this. I thought a ship like this would have sensors, right? Sensors detecting organics or non-organics in their ship. Is such technology available in the Mass Effect universe? Or maybe because of the battle, the Geth uh, processors is busy processing other stuff and don't have any resources to spare to run the sensors to differentiate between organics and non-organics aboard their ship, right? Are you alright, Shepard? Were you worried about me? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Alright, Tali, Liara, with Shepard, the rest of you. Create a diversion and draw some of the enemy forces away from us. Let's go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. I know people who would pay a great deal for this design. If the fleet survives, I'm sure it will need the money. So where are we headed? 
We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Okay. Operation Center, Guardian Battery, examine. Interesting. Their anti-fighter lasers use ultraviolet frequencies. Most ships use infrared. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Ultraviolet frequency is better than infrared. Wait, where is this hole that Shepard mentioned? I don't see any hole. What is the hole? Admiral Gero? Was it? Han Gero? Oh yeah, Tali, what happened to Kal Rieger? Is he alive? Is he alright? Where is he? I remember Kal Rieger. What is the hole Shepard mentioned? I didn't see any hole. What the fuck? Watch out! Get incoming! Yeah, 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 where is the hole that Shepard mentioned? I don't see any hole. What was Shepard talking about? I don't understand. Ah, never mind. Wait, Liara down? What hit her? The rocket? Okay, this must be the heat sink, right? I don't know.
What the fuck was that? I didn't see. Is that a mine? Well, glad I have my kinetic barriers up. Again. Well, the kinetic barrier is very useful. Look, the signal's hitting all geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. I transmitted what data we had to a few code breakers. I haven't heard anything back. Yeah, so the Geth is fully under the control of the Reapers. Sensor data, can you tell how the Quarian ships are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Center. Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The Reaper signal. Oh, okay. They're shooting at us. Oh my goodness. Is operational. Saved by the Claymore. Oh shit! No! Thanks to the kinetic barriers. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me explore, yeah? Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. It's connected to all networked Geth everywhere. To all networked Geth everywhere? All over the galaxy? Really? All over the galaxy?
Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. Which doors? Which doors? Oh, those doors? Alright. Shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Alright. Let's go, Tully. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Different species have different aesthetic tastes, but I agree. This design is alien. It's amazing to think that the Geth can load their intelligence directly into the ship. They could be all around us. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. All right, let's go. Admiral Coris's ship. Coris is the only admiral that. Oh, not not the only. Both Coris and Tali are the admirals that were opposed 
that, that are opposed to this war with the Geth. Maybe they're just worried that this war will be lost and more Quarians will die. Understandable. Oh, the main cannon. The main cannon of the Dreadnoughts. I think. Let's go. Okay, let me take a look one more time. Oh my god. Shit, the shockwave. Get in cover. Tali, Liara, get in cover. Oh, I, I took the wrong cover. Alright. What the fuck? That was so quick. Did I step on a proximity mine? I think so. Watch the shock waves. That's a big gun. We should be okay if we stay in cover. Wait, did I regenerate my health? From from one bar to three bar? This is bullshit, man. Up. Why am I regenerating my health from one bar to, to three bars? Okay, let me... Alright, decrease my health now, decrease my health now. Come on, decrease my health. Come on!
They've stopped firing. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Okay, now let's see. Am I going to resume with one bar or three bars of health? This is bullshit, three bars of health. Why can I revive with only one bar?
I'm all right. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. Is that the drive core? Alrighty. That's definitely Reaper Tech. But what's Shepard Commander, help us. Wait. Legion. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily, or maybe it's hacked? I don't know. Let's see. Let's interrogate it. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Okay, far side I... Of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack. Not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the Reapers to save themselves. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. The only other way was to die. It's hard to argue with a species trying to survive. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. I disagree, Lyra. It is not a species. It's a tool rebelling against its creators. It must be put down. Alright, so I didn't follow the conversation between Shepard and Legion earlier. So what? The heretics are using Legion as an as an antenna to communicate with the Reapers or to allow the Reapers control of the Geth. If if that is so, they could have just used any other Geth platform, right? It doesn't have to be Legion. Or maybe Legion possess special features and functions that the heretics don't have I don't know oh so we are circling around Is that Tali? Oh yeah, it is.
Wait, so Shepard could have ride the elevator with Tali and Liara? Then what what was I doing? Climbing that ladder then. Shit. Got it. Tali's order to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Firebird blocks offline. We are free. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Death reinforcements incoming! Oh wow, okay, what are those? Wow, what is that? A red colored Geth? Red means dangerous. Where? Oh no! Rocketo! So what should we do now? Oh no! Shit! Where is it?
Oh shit, what is that? It's a homing. Oh shit, to my right. Understood. Right. Understood. Good grief. Good grief indeed. Shepard Commander, we can only launch from the upper level. Let's play! The door! Double time, people! Hurry! We're losing the environmental field! We'll make it! Shepard Commander. 
We're fine. Go. They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. Well, Shepard did once cause the destruction of an entire system, killing 500,000 Batarians because he deemed it necessary, right, to delay the Reaper's attack. Well, you did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Gosh, Tet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. Well, if I say yes, or later, it might anger Legion. And we're going to have a fight in this room right now. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings as well? It's not a toy. It's a friend. Wait, a friend shit. whose military is currently attacking our people. The security implications and... It disabled that dreadnought as a gesture of good faith. Please, creators, we wish to offer assistance. You're going too far, Shepard. It's not a friend. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. 
We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Hold on. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have all breaches. Life support failing. All right. How how many how many guest platforms belong to the heretics? And how many Geth platforms belong to the non-heretics? Legion can't be the only non-heretic Geth platform, is it? Or maybe it's the only Geth platform in operation that is non-heretic. Um, that is... I don't know. I tally. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Admiral Darogen. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Wait, so Admiral Ran is eavesdropping on our conversation? No. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Oh, Shepard will. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people, so we destroy the server? No, Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. You say Geth fighters are targeting? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. 
The assigned squadrons are networked to a server. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? Okay. I'd do it again, but since we're in front of Legion, let's say what he wants to hear. Maybe decisions like deleting heretic Geth were what turned your kind against organics in the first place. We do not condemn it. Action was necessary. It was why we sought your advice. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. While the organics have a difficulty believing Shepard. <laughs> That's why Shepard said it must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Where is Admiral Run? There she is. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. I'd hoped the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double-checking any data it provides on the Reaper base, though. What do you need? Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Ranak. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Wait, so now the Quarians have enough fleet strength to make the Turians think twice? Really? Hold on. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. 
But before we began this war, we jury rigged every quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Where is Karl Rieger? I want to know where he is. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Dali said you had the largest fleet. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. They're... But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our life. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Turian fuel depot at Sion? I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander? Important. From Miranda Lawson Shepard. I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the comments? I'll send enough point. No vids this time, I promise. Sign Miranda. The Cure from Mylon Haplorn. Ah, Mylon. Commander Shepard, I've just heard the news you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. 
I had to leave when word got back to Clan Warlock, and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you've saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, sign, Mylon Haplorn. Okay, so he left Omega. What, what, what is Mylon now? Well, Mylon, there's only one female now. From your, from the batch of females that you experimented on. The rest died. Uh, while they were in Surkesh. Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Alright, make sure you don't talk like this near Tali. Um, I mean, we have to consider her, you know. I mean, she's our ally. And I just don't think it's appropriate. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right, just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard. The Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Oh, the Geth has prevented the Quarian from leaving this system. This cluster. Wow, okay. So, so they must make their final stand here. I mean the Quarians, because they can't flee now. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Okay. Uh, two AIs joking with each other. I'm not sure if I follow, but I can understand. Hello, Shepard. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... 
We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. I heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Hey there. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Just reviewing some charts. Just reviewing some charts. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. 
10 billion people over here die, so 20 billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? I don't know. When the time comes, I'm sure the Shepherd can make the hard decision. But it is something that Shepherd does not hope to happen or eagerly await. So naturally his response will be the top choice. But when the time comes, I'm sure he can do the bottom choice. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going, amigo? Compad... Uh, compadre? I don't know. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. You know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Wait, semi-flexible? So, I can play, I mean Shepard can play with Liara's scalp crest? As if he's playing with a, with a stress relief, with a stress relief dough. Interesting. Scalp crest. So the Asari called it scalp crest. I see. Smuggler manifest. Yungi system. Operative Morat has sent smuggler manifests of an Athabasca class freighter to authorities in the Yungi system. The manifest follows 8,000 tons of dextroamino food supplies, 16,000 tons of levo amino acid food supplies, 200,000 tons of platinum stamped ingots, 12 Alliance fighter craft inactive mothballed on lower deck. 12 Hierarchy Interceptor Craft inactive moth bolt on lower deck, 300 indentured workers, slaves from Kharshan recaptured attempting to escape Reapers, mainly Batarian. Authorities will seize the freighter in two hours. Per the broker's request, the Yungis government has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favors rendered. Ah, I see. So Liara is using her shadow broker uh, platform to help the the indentured workers by uh, through operative Morad. All right, this Yungi system. What what species is in control of the Yungi system? Is it humans, Asari, or other species? Ready for the next mission. The next mission, according to Shepard, will be on your bed. Ready for the next mission. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated.
breaking now, a nightmare on Earth. Human leaders using military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can, the battle space. Commander, do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Nothing to report, Commander. Power grid is in the green. Commander? I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. Javik, please. Please, let Tali off, okay? Wait. Is that true? So, Javik, you have seen Quarians in their state before the Geth arising. I mean uprising, right? And you've seen the Asari. Tell me. Which species do you think is more beautiful and hot, Asari or the Quarian? Tell me, please. I'd like to know. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll take Javik's word. I mean, he's seen the Quarians without their helmets. I see. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. Even if what you say is true. Legion wants to destroy the Reapers as much as we do. Did you ever consider the Geth may be trying to eliminate the competition? With the Reapers gone, the galaxy will be theirs for the taking. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Mm. 
I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. I agree. But... I think Edie can hear us talking, right? Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this topic in the open or in the public like this. Maybe we should take some time off the Normandy and go to the Citadel. There, Shepard and Javi can talk more about this. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. I still have much to learn about this cycle. I still have much to learn about this cycle. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to Hackett's team so quickly. I appreciate you checking in on me. Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? I'm hoping for the best. But I'm gonna keep my eye on them. And that makes two of us. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... Species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. When he said Sparks, is he referring to Tali? I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Maybe it's not for you to get them. It's okay, right? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? 